All right, so getting it all put back together, working on this tailstock a little bit. Uh, before, this guy would only go back about to there. And uh, sticking out quite a bit. Now, I've reworked it a little bit and I've got it to go all the way back in. What I did, so what I did was this keyway here stopped about right here. And there's a screw, a little bolt sticking up down there that is the key for that. So I ground that out, lengthen that all the way out to the end, and then on the side, I didn't dress it up real pretty, but it is what it is. On the side where that bolt for the clamp would rub up against this, um, I kind of filed that, ground it down. A little bit heavier right here and then a little bit lighter on the ends here. But anyways, I'm going to get this all put back together. But now, slides right in, right out. Now one thing that I will get out of this that I wasn't able to do uh, previously is that whenever I run this back all the way, uh, it would stop right here. Now I'll be able to run it all the way back. What that's going to do is have the threaded rod here sticking out further, which will eject this from it. Alright, so this is how far it stuck out before. It's 10 millimeters to the line. Plus another five, probably five millimeters out. Uh, as I was putting it back together, I left these four bolts here loose. I, I ran this all the way back till it stopped against this, and then I ran it back forward about a millimeter and a half. Then I tightened these down, checked it back and forth both ways. It was nice and smooth. So now get my chuck put it in here jam it in there good all right so now this is where it would stop before and it wouldn't push it out okay runs out real smooth now let's run it back in and it's just gonna pop that chuck right out look at that all the way in that's perfect now I want to make a new handle for this quick release, uh, the, the tool change post. Uh, why? Because I can. Yeah, that's pretty much it, just because I can. Uh, I don't like how short it is. I don't like how skinny it is. I'm just making up stuff as to why I don't like it, so I have a reason to, to build a new one. So... Let me cut a little piece of aluminum and get started. Got the camera set up, got the aluminum chucked up, got the tool head on, let's do this. All right, we're gonna measure it real quick. Let's see what size this right here is. 7.75 millimeters, where are we at with that? Okay, so we'll take this down to an even 10. .89 millimeters to go. All right.
our shaft here is 10 millimeters in diameter. Our shaft here on the handle 7.65. So I want to neck the end of this down to 7.65. So whenever it bolts up against this, it's flush against the top, just like the, the original one is. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come out here to the side. I'm going to surface off the face of it. I'll bring it back. I'll touch off on the corner and reset my zero. Then I'm going to go ahead and start pushing in a total of 2.35 millimeters to get my 7.65 diameter on here. And we'll see how that works. All right, just got done tapping it. Goes on there pretty good. So, put this uh, back in the chuck, in the lathe here. I'm just gonna smooth that end out just a little bit. Flip it around. Clean this side right here up. We'll knurl the whole thing and we'll be done.
Yeah, I don't know that you'll be able to see the knurling all that well on there. Looks pretty good. The old one, the new one, quite a bit, quite a bit beefier. Oh yeah, that's real nice. Right out of the box, I was able to start using it without any issues. But I did have to do a little bit of cleaning and tuning. Nothing major, nothing that I've had experience with before. I've never operated a lathe before, so I just watched a lot of YouTube videos on it. <laughs> As I'm sure that's why most of you guys are watching the videos determine if this lathe's any good and how to use it. Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what the future has for it. We'll see how well it holds up. Uh, but I do have a long list of projects planned out for this. So once I get some material in, I'll be on my way with those projects. All right, see you guys.